Welcome back to another video. Excuse my terrible voice. So if you guys have not seen my comments I've left on my previous videos, uh, someone decided to, either it was someone, uh, a Karen or a YouTube, that reported one of my videos, and, uh, and two others, I'll get into that, and caused me to get a community guidelines strike, which means I can't post or make videos for a week, or go live. Or even save anything to my playlists. And I will quickly mention this before I go on. I do have another channel I just created. The day it happened. Just in case. I was going to re-upload all my content. But I have way too many videos. And I, I'm not going to the pain of uploading all of those. But I will be re-uploading my most popular videos. <clears throat> but I likely won't be re-uploading any of my shorts. So anyway. Uh, so yeah. Uh, last week on Wednesday, which, as of filming this, it's Tuesday, December, f let me check, December 5th, and tomorrow, the 6th, would mark exactly a week since this happened. So, to be exact, it happened around lunchtime, so probably about, like, 9 in the morning, and I'm at lunch, right, I was gonna post a video, and it was exactly a day after the annoying orange joke I made and I thought oh maybe that video is a problem because I saw the community guidelines strike one uh it said your video was removed for violating our community guidelines so I check it and no the the video is not the issue it was a different video from oh I don't know two years ago almost three now almost three years ago a video gets taken down like what and I, I looked at the video, and I didn't even do anything. <coughs> so, obviously, someone decided to report me. Or maybe YouTube decided, we're going to ruin your life. Now, see, this is why I did not apply for the partner program. Because I knew something like this would eventually happen. I've seen other YouTubers get falsely copyrighted, striked, um, community guidelines striked, warned. And I heard that you could get rid of these with policy training, but I can't do it because I'm on mobile. I tried the desktop browser, and I just, I can't figure it out. I did learn that, though, these strikes will expire in 90 days. Um, and, it, and when I looked on it, when I tried to go to the policy training on the web version, on my phone, on the desktop site, it said it would expire February 27th. Like, oh wow, I lose my non-existent monetization for three months. I have Cash App. I don't really... Because, like, I see that, you know, obviously when people watch an ad, you'll get a small commission, sure. But, like, I just don't really want to set all that crap up and have to do all these shenanigans. Plus, I don't want to make you guys watch ads a bunch of the time. Unfortunately, I'm not in control of the ads, unfortunately. Uh, once my videos pass a certain view count, ads get put in there automatically. <laughs> I got a community guideline strike. So then YouTube was like, we assure you that 95% of other creators don't get another strike. I got a community guideline strike. So then, the next day, because I deleted the video, and yeah, yeah, deleting the video, you can't appeal it. The strike still expires in 30 days. Or no, 90 days, sorry. And the next day, I decide, I'm going to go through my videos and delete some. Eh, because, you know, that's when I was still in the idea of re-uploading it. So I deleted all my low-view content, content I didn't feel as though was memorable, didn't really, you know, appeal to people. So I got rid of all my old, like a lot of my old stuff. Well, not a lot. I removed almost about 150 videos. So you'll notice I don't have 908. I now have 728 videos. Um, and plus, my, it makes my channel a little less junky, but it's still just a bunch of random content. <laughs> but uh, I did not delete any of my music or I did delete a live production, which was not even live. It was just a screen recording of me making this song. Ugh. Anyway. But, um, I deleted some old stupid videos I made a long time ago, and whatnot, blah blah blah. So then, while doing that, I get two more notifications, one after another, like not at the same time. So at about 9pm, because I, I somewhat remember, ironically, a day and 12 hours later, uh, at around 9, 9.15 I believe, I got a age restriction notice. Like, what?! And it was on a video of me playing Geometry Dash. And, 
what? So then, uh, then I, uh, about 30 minutes later, I got another notification, right? And at about 9.35, 9.50, right before I was going to go to bed and finish up deleting videos and whatever, blah, blah, blah. I got a, another community removal. It wasn't a strike, thank God. I thought it was at first, but when I checked my email, it said, we are not applying a strike to your channel. We understand, blah, blah, blah. It was uh, on another Geometry Dash video. What, do they have an issue with Geometry Dash having the name of math? So I deleted all, I think, that is, all of my Geometry Dash videos I had. Obviously, someone's attacking me. I think someone, I, like, I don't know if it's a hater. I don't know if it's uh, maybe a rogue bot at YouTube or, I don't know, someone's just having a bad day or something. Or, you know, a Karen or a hater's reporting my channel. I don't know what's going on. Since then, thankfully, I've not gotten any more violation reports or warnings, whatever. Um, I do, I did have a warning, a copyright warning. Not a strike, but a warning on my channel. It's still there. Uh, that was when I was younger. In 2020, no, early 2021, this was before I was 13. So obviously my brain wasn't to the point where I would actually take a minute to actually think about what I'm really doing. So I thought, hey, I'm going to, you know, because uh, some of my friends didn't have Disney Plus and they were subscribed to my channel. And I told them at school the day before, hey, you want to watch some Simpsons for free? And they're like, heck yeah. So I started a live stream of me Simpsons. And what happens? My channel gets, or no, my stream gets destroyed. So I thought it was an error because I was using third-party streaming so, uh, services because obviously I had like, what, 20 subscribers at the time? So then I try again. <laughs> I try again. And I lost my second stream but i didn't get another warning it's just one for both uh they took it down and then didn't warn me until a few minutes later and they, they were like oh we're giving you a warning because it's your first time whatever right so yeah that's great my voice is dying as well <laughs> but yeah that's kind of what's been happening and um i would recommend everyone subscribe to my new channel it's not the second channel I've had. I barely upload on that thing. But there's reasons to that. I will explain in a future video. <clears throat> but um, I'll put it on screen now. Like I did at the start of the video too. Um, and uh, yeah. Just please subscribe to it. I tried putting in comments and stuff for people to subscribe. I re-uploaded some of my videos. Or two of my videos. Not really two. I just remade them. Um, because the videos themselves are too large and I'm not uploading them for nine hours. So anyway, uh, yeah, that's, uh, kind of what's been going on then. Uh, yeah, just please though, even though I haven't had a problem since the day it happened last week, I don't trust it now and I'm now scared for my channel. So I'd recommend that you all move to my, well, not move, uh, but like go to my second channel and subscribe there in case if something happens because obviously someone's attacking my channel someone's doing something i don't know maybe it's a group of people false reporting it spamming it so uh yeah that's pretty much it for this video bye